Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to another episode in Building Tips and Tricks on my channel. This is going to be about the vast array of LEGO drive wheels, or LEGO compatible drive wheels I should say, that are available on the market. So on my channel I have a video comparing sizes of drive wheels, which you can check out. But this is going to be from different companies. We're going to look at LEGO themselves, Big Ben Bricks, and Shapeways. So we're going to start off in the center. So these three wheels here, this whole line, is all Big Ben bricks. Now these are very popular amongst professional LEGO train builders because these are injection molded. This means that when you, well, when the company makes these wheels, they are using the same mold. So each wheel comes out exactly the same. These are also a much better material, they feel much better, you can tell when you go to use these yourself, the quality is just so much better than Shapeways, and they match the quality of LEGO's own drivers too. They do come in a range of colours, but I only have them in blue because I'm only going to be using blue wheels from this company, I don't plan on buying any more wheels for a long time personally. But there are multiple colours available including Blue, red, yellow, green, a couple more. They even come in clear, which I think is quite cool. So going to the left as well, comparing these to LEGO's own wheels. Here, this is all I have at the moment. I have no spare flanged wheels to show off, which is a bit annoying. But it's not exactly necessary. So comparing the designs of LEGO's own wheels to Big Ben's wheels, they are in fact very similar. LEGO only sell drivers in black and red. I, for one, would like to see them make a light grey in the future, but that's just me. You can also see at the bottom of the wheel, LEGO's own drivers have these counterweights, which Big Ben does not make. This is a thing in real life that is part of locomotive designs, but I've seen a lot of people also use a mixture of both um, designs of wheels, and you can rarely see the counterweights and it's sometimes quite difficult to tell which one is which. So if you mix these two together on a LEGO train, so long as they're the same colour of course, it's not going to be too much of a problem. But if you're like me and you're really picky, then obviously stick to one design. Also at the top, that is a smaller, uh, just a standard train wheel which is quite nice. You can use these with um, the Power Functions motor. LEGO does make these, of course, which you have seen in many products in the past and will continue to see in the future. Once again, coming in black and red, which is very nice indeed. It's nice that there are more than one colours available. And all in all, it's nice to have a good comparison. Because these are injection moulded, you can compare them to LEGO's own. So in terms of quality, they are a little bit less because, of course, everybody is so used to LEGO and LEGO bricks have very high quality plastic. So that's very cool. Going to the other side of the screen, we can see here the vast array of wheels that Shapeways has to offer. Now this isn't coming from Shapeways itself, I need to clarify this point. Shapeways works like Etsy, where it's a website where you can have your own store, and there is a shop on Etsy that sells LEGO compatible 3D printed train wheels. So as you can see here, there is a wide range available across many colours and many sizes and designs. Some of the first ones I bought are over here. These are all 3D printed by the way, none of these are injection moulded. Which means the quality is less to uh, Lego Zone and Big Ben Bricks, which is why this isn't as popular. The XXL wheel design does come in multiple designs. We have the standard traditional spokes, we have box pock and discs. Disc wheels are more commonly used for streamlined locomotives and I've seen a few people build American locomotives with these wheels in particular because American locomotives are massive. So these are the most suitable for those designs. Box pocket is something I've seen on UK wheels, um, UK trains I should say. And these are just in general very cool looking wheels. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, traditional spokes because obviously that's one of the most common designs used. Not all designs are consistent though, I have to say that. This is a uh, blind wheel that has 19 spokes and a massive counterweight. It looks very cool, but you can only get this design as this, as a blind. There is no flanged version of this wheel. So if you do want to use this, you would, well I would recommend at least to use this design wheel. 
that's as close as it's going to get and frankly as it does it looks pretty good i only have two of those but i won't be planning on using them in the future anytime soon we also have the standard size wheels this is called large wheels again this matches the big ben bricks and lego's own drivers that's probably the best thing to go by as well so we have large as the standard wheel we have medium large as one size lower to the standard so this is something you see for smaller locomotives like tank engines i have these on my thomas the tank engine model and other tank engines in general are much more suited for such a smaller wheel it also is yeah i should say this because it's worth noting so these behave very similarly to the standard size in the way where when i first bought these for my blue guardian quadruplex the spacings between the wheels behave the same way as you were using these ones height width you know the full shebang which was a bit irritating because had i known that i would have stuck to using standard size but now that i've got these i'm kind of glad i do because obviously as i mentioned earlier you can use those for smaller models these do also come in a wide range of designs as well. We have box pock with larger counterweights at the bottom there, which is very cool indeed. And traditional spokes, as we mentioned earlier. So, what I'm going to do in the description of this video are going to be links to the Shapeway store and Big Ben Bricks. I, for one, would rather stick to Big Ben Bricks, now knowing that these are much better quality. Obviously, I kind of knew this from the beginning, but I only went with Shapeways because I live in the UK, and Shapeways is based in Europe. So it's easier for me to get a hold of these wheels as it is for these wheels. If you care about quality, then you should absolutely go for Big Ben Bricks because you get a lot of colours and you get a bunch of sizes as well. You can get one size up to these, but you cannot get XXL wheels, which is two sizes up from the standard driver. You don't get a choice of design either. You only get spokes. You don't get box pock or disc wheels, which is a bit of a shame because I would love to see Big Ben expand their products in the future. Because I would, again, because they're three, uh, not three printed, because these ones are injection molded, they can do wonders with these kind of designs. Ultimately, if you are new to building Lego trains, stick to Lego's own wheels. If you buy um, wheels from Bricklink, that's probably one of the better places to go to. But if you are a more experienced, more capable builder for Lego trains, then it's worth expanding into other territory. I would ultimately prefer you to Big Ben again, just because of the quality of the bricks. If you want to use larger wheels, then you will have to go to Shapeways, but do that under your own risk. I have two videos on my channel looking at XXL wheels, as well as a bunch of locomotives that I have made using these wheels. So, that is everything I want to say. Ultimately, Big Ben is a good service, but Big Ben is also based in America. So, so long as you're willing to pay crazy money for shipping, go ahead. If you're new... Stick to Lego's own wheels, make yourself comfortable first. And if you want to build trains of various sizes, you could go into risky territory and go into Shapeways. Once again, links to all of the stores will be in the description below. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all ever so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.